Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. If you're new here, I'm Sydney, and if you're not, then welcome on back. I'm so happy you're here. I figured today, okay, so I have an exciting weekend going on. I am going to, oh my, this hair. Don't worry y'all, it's hair washing night. There, there is going to be some work done on this hair tonight. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to Colorado for the weekend to meet my family and I figured I would do a little pack with me Get ready for my trip and everything with y'all and yeah, I figured we would Get going on that. I'm sitting on some of my stuff, but I'm um, I have been an overpacker for as long as I can flipping remember but uh, and that really has not changed this trip, but um, I'm trying to at least make sure that I have like outfits put together because when I go on a vacation, there's nothing worse than having like a bunch of pieces that are cute, but like nothing works together. And then you're just like stressed out on your trip. And we're, we're just not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that this time around. Also, I just got a couple new things. So I figured I would show them to you. I, uh, and guys, oh my gosh, I am at, look at this. Can we focus? 99.9K on Instagram. It's going to be so fun reaching 100K. What a fun little milestone. Um, okay, so here's the thing about Ulta. It is like, I'm not even a great makeup guru, but when I go into Ulta, it's just a dangerous place for me. I try so hard to be like, okay, go in for what you need. What did I go in there for? Oh, I needed, I needed dry shampoo. Because that I do always need. And I'm trying this Detox Dry Shampoo by Dry Bar. I have, I'm trying to remember who I saw using this. I think Gretchen Garrity or whatever, I was watching her YouTube. I think it was her that was using this. Ulta is just dangerous. It's just dangerous, but I did need a new um, detangling brush. So I got the dry bar one, and then I got these Dermaplane things as well. And these, I've been using ones that are like definitely old. Like I think you should only use them a couple times but my skin definitely gets the, and we all get it. We all get that like peach fuzz, whatever. And your makeup goes on so much smoother after you do these. So I'm gonna do this tonight uh, so that for my trip I can have flawless makeup. And then I also got, I think downstairs I got like the pimple patches, whatever they're called. Um, that you like put on a pimple because my face has been breaking out like a crazy person. I got some new um, eyeshadow brushes because I've been using um, eyeshadow brushes from like the sixth grade. I got this satin headband, which I'm going to start using to like put my hair back to wash my face. And then also I might even sleep in it because um, I have like a lot of breakage up here all the time, my hair breaks off I think probably from like years and years of getting my hair highlighted yeah holds fragile hair in place along the hairline that was what we did and then I got this Morphe palette which once again like I'm not a makeup person I I have like always hated spending money on makeup and my mom's a huge makeup guru so like I've always relied on just hand-me-downs <laughs> but um yeah eventually I think they probably are expired and I've probably overused the same like naked palette that I think I got for Christmas like in 2016 <laughs> but this is the Morphe palette I feel like I'll use the heck out of that I like all neutrals very natural looking colors on my eyeballs and I got some travel micellar water and then I got some same by the dry bar but it's finishing spray just I think that will help with like um, keep everything in place and then I got this uh, NYX brow tint pen that I've seen all over TikTok. So I went in there to spend like 10 bucks and I came out spending way too much. I was like that was a very expensive trip Sydney. Sydney. I also got some stuff from Skims and y'all would be like embarrassed for me if you knew that I've probably not owned a, I probably have not owned a bra in like three years. I, I'm not even joking because I only wear things like I don't really have anything to support not gonna lie to you we're about as flat as a 12 year old boy but I've like been like okay 
do I even own a bra? I feel like there are probably times that I need a bra. So I did order one from Skims. So finally have that. And then I got these two, like, this is my favorite blazer that I have. And I ordered, um, like a bandeau, bandeau, literally perfect match. I think this would be so cute with jeans underneath with this blazer. And then I also got this tank top and I was like, they, what's the chance that this matches and it matches perfectly oh my gosh perfect so I'm gonna wear those definitely on my trip and then I also just got like the um, simple black tee and I think I got a medium of this I don't know where it says okay I got a size small uh, but it just everything skims always looks so small I mean I'm starting off with my workout clothes I'm gonna just bring a couple sports bras um I probably will only work out like three to four times while I'm there if I had to guess so I've got a few sports bras I probably need to pack a couple more um and then I have a pair of biker shorts in black the align shorts a pair of align leggings and then my aloe slit hem um, yoga pants and I think I probably need to bring another pair of shorts as well so I need to grab that I was like washing a bunch of stuff and I know that I should have made a note of other things that I need to pack so a couple more pairs of athletic clothes that's for sure because I always am like dang I wish I brought more pairs of leggings that's one thing that I always wish I had more of I'm bringing some sweatshirts, so I'm definitely going to bring this champion one. I got this from Ur Urban Outfitters, I think, and I think it was a men's one, but I love it. And then this, I mean, Bing, I am bringing this one, and then I have another I mean, Bing, and I get those off of Revolve. They're really pricey, but I... I really do like those sweatshirts. We're gonna have a hot tub there, which is nice. And I'm doing this Apollo and Sage bikini, this L Space bikini, and then this is Monsi, I think is what it's called. I got these two from Revolve, and then I actually got this one off of Poshmark because I love Apollo and Sage, but they're always sold out. And then I also got these, which I'm so excited about. And also, can we talk about like, why are these so expensive nowadays? Because they really shouldn't be. This was like 40 something dollars, I think, for a two pack. Okay, so for like cute clothes, I'm bringing a couple button ups. So I'm bringing this one. And then I also have the same one in white. And I figured I could just wear these with like jeans or even my leather pants. And I got these both from Revolve. And I've got these black pants from Aritzia. And they're like the Aritzia Molina pants, I think is what they're called leather pants and then I'm just gonna bring like a couple basic tank tops so I'm bringing this tank top and then I have this sweater and it's like a turtleneck sweater I got this one from I think this one definitely was from Princess Polly I have her tag on the inside yep Princess Polly and then I've got a leather jacket and then I also have this halter top is what it is. It's a halter bodysuit from Super Down from Revolve. Super Down from Revolve. And that will look cute underneath the leather jacket or something along those lines. You also know I'm in Alabama and not in somewhere cold when I bought these gloves and this hat so long ago from Lululemon and they still have the tags on. They're going to finally get their use. I'm thinking this weekend when it's freezing cold, I'm going to bring my little Ugg boots and then I bought these. I think I showed you guys these last vlog. I got these little oh gosh, what are these called? Loafers from Revolve, I think, and they're Sam Eldeman. Edelman. I don't know. I think it's Edelman. Uh, I got these from Revolve and I'm excited to wear these with like either jeans or my leather pants because I really don't have that many like dressy shoes. And then I also have these which who the heck knows how these are going to feel. Um, hopefully they're comfy. I've never worn these before but they're like that cute sock booty look. So bringing those. And then of course I've got my workout sneakers, these RYZs, and then my New Balances for like loungewear and whatnot. And then I'm gonna wear my white New Balances for the flight.
Okay, so luckily I'm bringing two bags. So this bag is gonna be like all my shoes and then I'm also gonna bring like my um, greens and everything in this bag as well because I'll have some extra room. But I've got all my shoes and all of my jackets, blazers and all of that. I hate that I have to put my blazers in just like crammed in here, but I don't really know another method for that. But I don't know what the heck I did with my packing cubes. I have like just like some cheap ones from Amazon from forever ago. And I don't know what what I did with them. I literally don't know where they could be, but I guess everything is just gonna be in, I don't know, I don't know, in piles in here. But one thing that I will say about traveling, cause yeah, I don't travel a ton. I, I have family members literally all over. So my sister's in Florida, which I'll be closer to her once I move, literally so soon. Um, but my dad's in Michigan, my mom's in Ohio. We are all over the place. So if I'm traveling, typically it's like finding a way to see one another, uh, which is what this weekend is as well. I'm gonna be with them. But I have a really hard time getting out of my routine. It's just something that I struggle with. I'm really, a, I'm a huge routine human. So when I get out of my routine, it kind of throws me off. It really does. So I'm really working on that, like living in the moment rather than being excited to get back home in order to be in a routine and enjoying eating out and enjoying being kind of just like relaxing. I'm not a relaxed person. Like that is the truth behind it. I'm just not a relaxed person. I try to run a million miles an hour at all times and it catches up with you, it really does. So I'm in desperate need of just letting my body rest and maybe maybe some of y'all are like that too where you feel like you need to be productive 24 seven. And so when you are out of your routine, you feel like you are getting behind on things and that's just not the case. Like we desperately need to slow down every once in a while. And I definitely need to slow down and enjoy my time with my family. So that's something I'm really working on this trip especially. It feels kind of funny packing up right now because as you can see, like I've got a shoe shelf right here, completely empty. I've got kind of like donation piles everywhere. It's a hot mess here because I'm in the process of moving. But um, I scheduled this we we made the plans for this vacation far before I knew what date I was moving, uh, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm stressed about moving, so I'm not gonna go on vacation. But it it, it feels kind of strange packing for a trip while a lot of my stuff is packed to move. But whatever. <laughs> Move to the living room, if you couldn't tell. Move, living room, kitchen, whatever. And if you can tell, we don't have bar stools. <laughs> it's, it's the process of moving, I'll tell you what. Uh, my house looks more empty every single day. I'm like selling stuff, ordering different things. I actually ordered new bar stools and then I realized I needed counter stools. Yeah, I know, crucial mistake. But they came and they were so tall, I'm like, oh, that can't be right. So. Yeah, I've got my outfit picked out for the morning. Y'all, I have to wake up at literally 3.45. That's the dead center of the middle of the night. I cannot believe that. But my flight leaves at, I think it's 6.30 and I live an hour away from the airport. So I'm going to pack all of my, I'm actually gonna leave this out because I still have to wash my hair tonight. I'm gonna bring my straightener and my curling iron, which are both bioionic. I'm gonna pack the rest of my carry-on in the morning, but I obviously want to do what I can tonight. I'm gonna do my sunglasses. I'm bringing two pairs of sunglasses. These ones right here, those thin ones that I got. Um, if you saw, I think I posted a TikTok or maybe an Instagram about it. I got them when I was in Florida. They're Prada and they're just like very, <laughs> very different for me, but they're growing on me. I like them. I like the thin glasses. And then I also have these crew sunglasses that I've had for quite some time and they are very dirty. I need to clean them, but just some cute little sunnies. And I'm gonna bring both of those in my, I have this Lululemon uh, backpack that I'm gonna use as my carry-on. And then I'm also gonna use my big old tote. So this is my backpack that I'm gonna bring and I'll just put my purses in there. 
I don't really like packing things like my purses or my sunglasses in my luggage just in case something were to happen. I'm like, Ugh. Okay, I'm about to jump in the shower. I'm actually crazy enough. I've been an Olaplex person for as long as I can remember. So I don't know what made me grab these. I think it's because I like the bottle so much. I've seen a couple people use these, but honestly, I've not heard much about this. I haven't heard much feedback. So I found these at Ulta the other day and I'm excited to give them a go round. I feel like it's good to switch up what shampoo and conditioner you're using every once in a while. My hair lately has been like needing to be washed more than it was and it feels oily. I feel like it's just good to switch up every once in a while. But time to take a shower, get out. I'm gonna dermaplane my face or whatever that's called. Shave my, sh do a little shaver thing on my face style and blow dry my hair so that tomorrow I can roll out of bed and say, okay, time to go. Cause you know, I'm not gonna be functioning that early in the morning. Got my cute little silk headband on. This is the definition of vacation prep right here. Mighty patch about to go on my face in a couple different spots because we decided we always break out right before vacation. I don't understand that. I really don't understand why that happens. And then I'm gonna do my little dermaplane thing. I just dried my hair. Feels so nice and silky. So this might be a win. This shampoo and conditioner might be a win. Now it's a little bit later now and I am just eating my dinner. I pretty much did like a, everything I have in the fridge before I leave type of a dinner. I did zucchini noodles, butternut squash, zucchini slices, spinach, carrots, mushrooms. I'm starting to realize there's a lot of random stuff in here. Ground turkey, tomatoes, and cilantro. That's literally like everything in the freaking refrigerator for dinner. And I did pasta sauce on top, marinara. Um, but y'all, I just was watching, I'm horrible at watching shows. The last few nights I have been watching a little bit of Tinder, Tinder Swindler, I think is what it's called. And we were like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely insanity. But then I, I'm horrible about falling asleep mid show. So then like I'd start again the next night, start again the next night. And so I'm like three nights in, but I think I only have like 15 minutes left of it tonight. Let me know if you guys have watched that show because I'll obviously be done by then. It is wacko. I've never been one for online dating. I've never, like for myself, I don't care if other people do it, but I've always been like scared of just, I don't know, sketchy people in that. If you are an online dater and you can watch that and not get a little freaked out, that gave me trust issues for people who online date. But. I'm gonna watch the rest of that tonight and wind down super early. Like I'm having dinner right now at 5.30 because, um, and I've got my dishwasher going. I've got, I vacuumed, I took out the trash. I am making sure that I come home to a clean house, but like tonight I just want to relax and make sure I go to bed early. I'm so tired, but I think I'm so excited that I'm not that tired. <laughs> And I actually slept a decent amount last night, which is not super common for days that I'm traveling the next day, uh, especially when I have to be up so early. So we're gonna get a move on, 3.20 a.m. And I um, have everything pretty much packed. I've got obviously this stuff packed and then I just need to add my toiletries and everything in my makeup bag to this and of course, I've got snacks. This, we're just about ready.